I get a lot of questions asking from youngsters. Predominantly these questions are, how many watts do I need to be doing? What does my FTP need to be? What weight do I need to be at? What do I need to do to turn pro? But I think the wrong questions are being asked a lot of the time. This clearly is, is something that needs addressing and maybe this year more so than others due to the lack of racing and, and every, I guess everyone panicking a little bit, which is entirely understandable, but I wanted, you know, racing will resume and I wanted to hopefully put some minds at rest and offer some insight into, I guess, how I turn pro, but how I think what you need to focus on to turn pro, what you need to do, and just some general advice on, on how to sort of work your way through the under 16 junior and under 23 ranks. I'll do this in two videos. The first one, this one being, uh, I guess a slightly shorter one because the under 16s and the juniors is a, is a little easier to navigate through than the under 23s. That will come in a, a second video. So this video, yeah, mainly for under 16s and juniors, male and female. And I will put my hands up and say, I don't have a strong knowledge of the female under 16 and junior scene, um, but I'll try my best. And there's, there'll definitely be some takeaway stuff here to um, absorb and, and process that will be applicable to both both categories. So, um, oh, and I guess this may well be for some of the parents there as well. Let's get things going. All right, under 16s, under 16s, you are, it's gonna be a common theme here, you're in school, you need to stay there. Um, I think you have to stay there, certainly if you're watching this from the UK, you have to stay there. Under 16 is, is certainly not the time to be taking cycling racing too seriously. And I, by that I don't mean don't race hard, like race hard, but I'll start off with being, being blunt. Like nothing you do as an under 16 or a junior really matters. You could be multiple world champion and it's gonna be forgotten quite quickly, so enjoy it. That's the main thing about under 16s, I'd say, is just to enjoy it, to ra enjoy racing. Race hard, put, don't put any pressure on yourself. And there's a few reasons for that. And race everything as well. And this is my first point, be everything. Now is not the time to sort of tell everyone that you are a sprinter or you are a track rider or anything. Now is the time to be everything. Race mountain bike, race BMX, race time trials, road, track, there's so much. Get a good social group and just like enjoy that aspect around races. Go to races, race hard, chat with your mates, uh, get involved and just just race as a form of training. You know, structured training right now isn't, it's just not like, it's not gonna help. Just race as much as you can. Go to Assen, go to like the junior races around the country, but go to the mountain bike ones as well. It's, I really cannot stress enough how much you need to enjoy it and so you'll find you know and that enjoyment might come from being good at one particular discipline and and that's great that's fine to like keep doing that uh, like when i was young when i was an under 16 i did mainly time trials and some cyclocross i wasn't a fan of cyclocross until i did well at one and then i was like okay this isn't so bad um so yeah so that's the first thing is just to race everything and just to have fun be a kid I enjoy school, hang out with your mates, race your bikes. Like it is, it is that simple. Don't buy a power meter, buy a BMX. Like literally, it couldn't be. There's under 16s I've seen which have been like, I'm gonna get osymmetric chain rings and I'm just like, come on, like buy a fixie. I can't stress that bit enough. Make sure you finish school and you might be like, ugh. Like, but it is, it is important um, and ultimately like whether you do or you don't make it, you won't regret finishing or not finishing school. I think finishing your A-levels is not going to make any difference as to whether you turn pro or not. If anything, it could help you. And again, another fairly uh, brutal thing is that not many, not too many make it um, all the way. And that's, you know, that's not necessarily because people uh, aren't good enough it's just sometimes you just realize you don't it's not what you want it's not a life you want to lead and that's you know it looks glitzy and glam on the outside but there's aspects to pro racing at, at all levels which is just very very tough and it's not for everyone and that's okay so finish school because you never know you're gonna if you're gonna need it and I promise you being a being intelligent being smart that helps that helps a lot so you know work hard at school. The last two points are, 
um, for the under 16s is to do with how quickly um, we develop and that's at different rates. Now, like you'll go to races and there'll be kids there who are borderline growing a beard and they're likely being the kids that are winning. Um, and if you are not one of those, I don't be disheartened because it all levels out in a couple of years. Everything evens out in a couple of years. Actually, some of the best tacticians when it comes to road racing are riders that have developed late, so they've had to use their head to get results in racing rather than their legs. I was on, I, for example, I struggle. I was an overdeveloped youngster. I developed fast and I, tactically, I still struggle in road races to, to work out what to do, but there's riders like Swifty who um, develop late, who are absolute master tacticians. And I, I think that, that sometimes stems from uh, being an under 16 and, and not having the horsepower that some of the others have. And then on the other end, end of the spectrum, if you are just bossing everything you turn up to, don't get complacent with it because that doesn't mean you're gonna be bossing it next year. It doesn't mean you're gonna be bossing it. You certainly likely won't have the same ease of wins when you, uh, when you become an under 23. So still try and learn how to race. I'm not saying I don't win races, but just, just remember that, that it does all level out. So that's the under 16s. Um, I hope you took something useful from that. And let's crack on with the junior ranks. So juniors, you're um, over 16, under under 18 or under 19. You've got two years uh, uh, junior ranks. And now that we've seen two riders in very recent years go directly from junior to world tour, it's, it's kind of a kind of a dangerous precedent to have set. And I guess this is my first point, that is an unusual and extraordinary thing to have happened. Now, Remco Evenpole is extraordinary. He is a, an exception to the rule and he settled in fine. Don't set that as a benchmark because you know we're all at different levels. The alternative is Mikkel Björg, who stayed as an under 23, probably a year longer than, maybe even two years longer than he needed to, but that would have been under the advice of Axel Merckx just to develop that little bit more in the under 23 ranks. And then he he turned pro with UAE and he settled in just fine. And that's, you know, and that's the first thing. There's not a time limit to turn in pro. Um, so don't panic, don't put pressure on yourself. Often when you put pressure on yourself like that, it's, it has a negative effect on your racing. So let's crack into the juniors. The first thing is, Let's get back to the school thing. Finish school, I please, because like I said, and another blunt thing about the juniors, like the under 16s, the minute, 1st of January, the year you turn under 23, you, along with most other people, aren't gonna give one as to what you did when you were a junior. Like, honestly, it's nice, and like it is fun to do well, and it might open up a door or two into the under 23 ranks, but ultimately, it's, it doesn't matter. And now that's not to say not to race hard, not to train hard, but I'm saying not to, not to take things too seriously, enjoy racing. And I think there's still an element of be everything. Don't confine yourself to being like, like race mountain bike, race, uh, race track, race road. It all helps each other. I, I don't need to tell you how good cyclocross riders are when they transition across to the road. And the same goes for mountain bikers. So don't drop any of those things because you feel like you have to specialize at this point and certainly if you are a road rider you're not a climber yet you're not a sprinter yet and you're not a time trialist yet you're still an everything and it is so important to still be that everything marcel kittel was twice junior tt world champion um, simon yates was junior world madison champion now both of them things are a far cry from what they're doing right now you know, that, that just goes to show that what you are as a junior is not what you are as a, as a senior. Like Pete Kenner, for example, won Alpe d'Huez stage of the Dauphiné and was junior world scratch race champion and Olympic gold medalist at Team Pursuit. Those are some very different types of cycling. So do not specialize and be everything, be good at everything as well. Training as a junior is a tough one because you might want to really start ramping up things like intervals and, and um, like really doing some specific work and, and that has, that's not a bad thing but make sure you just some of the best form of training is finding the local elite and first cat group of, of men or women and just and going out there 
and take a kick in, like really take a beating from them and then go out with them the next day. Some of the best form of training is just simply to go out with people better than you and try and hang on to them. And then whilst you're at it, talk to them, ask them questions, try and learn from them because they'll they'll more than likely be happy to happy to help out youngsters and there'll be a fountain of knowledge and can really sort of help you and a theme we'll get onto with the under 23s help you not make mistakes and if you can not make mistakes that you needn't have it'll just help accelerate your pathway so go training just with people better than you and do what they're doing because it'll help all forms of your racing and listen to them talk to them because they'll know what you're doing they'll see quite quickly where you're weak where you're strong and in a, in a short chat they'll know exactly a rough idea exactly a rough idea it makes no sense but they'll they'll be able to help and they'll be happy to help on to my last point and that's just about being a person and being a good person there's an abundance of people out there who just want to help and help you in your pathway to to the pro ranks or to whatever you want to be in life and and being a cyclist as a youngster whether you end up in uni or whether you end up like working in the city it's part of your pathway and people are always like love to be involved in that and they're happy to help and often they'll do it for for nothing in return but gratitude goes a long way like thank those people because you know you, you move up in steps and there'll be some tough decisions at times where like someone has helped you just discover cycling then can't help you like move to that next level uh, because you've you've outgrown their knowledge and, and you have to make that hard decision to to move on but like be respectful be grateful these people that help oh they owe you nothing and they would do it just for the love of cycling and the love of seeing someone progress and just remember them because without each and every one of those people you um you won't have progressed uh, so they they will all have been a part from the journey and make sure you sort of remember that and respect that. As under 16s and juniors, I hope that was that was insightful. I think the main things to take away from that is just like to like, enjoy it, uh, have fun. You know, some of my most fun memories were like national track championships as a junior, just because we were all camping, all us riders, Luke Rowe, Ben Swift, Adam Blythe, we're all like camping outside the velodrome and it was often it was more about the post race the dinners the barbecues the sort of pratting around on bikes outside the track than it was about the racing so make sure you enjoy that aspect and like i said be everything be every type of bike rider there is because still far too early to specialize and finish school because being a full-time junior is a bad thing a bad thing for a few reasons sorry i wasn't i was wrapping this up i just remembered a real valid point bad because um you need something to move on like move up from that like when you're an under 23 like being you've got all your life to be a full-time bike rider now is not the time and it doesn't help because like every team watching if there are teams watching the junior ranks they know who's full-time and who is not so they'll spot potential and they'll spot someone that's maxed out. Whatever your backup plan is, like make sure you focus on that because the under 23 ranks is when we start getting a little more serious. So um, yeah, hope you found that insightful. Hope that helped ease some, uh, some of your sort of worries. And remember, like we didn't talk once about watts, power, weight, FTP or anything because none of that actually matters at the moment like now's not the time to be dieting or thinking you need to look like a certain way um, now's the time just to just to race get involved and, and race hard and enjoy it so yeah um any more comments any more questions let me know uh, any questions about those things uh weight ftp and, and power i'm not going to answer them 